Marta Andreasen, Freedom and Democracy. To the amazement of Europe's citizens suffering austerity at home, the European Commission has come up with an effective increase of 11% for the long-term budget. Moreover, the proposal has been presented in a misleading manner in which at least half of the increase is disguised under out-of-the-budget lines, as is the case with ITER or the Globalisation Adjustment Fund, for example. The 5% average underspend experienced by EU budget year after year does not allow one to trust that the Commission is asking taxpayers to fund real needs. This time, in addition, the Commission's proposal lacks transparency and definitely cannot be relied upon. The present multiannual financial framework was supposed to support the Lisbon strategy that would make Europe the most competitive economy in the world. And look where we are. The one being proposed for the period 2014-2020 is based on the 2020 strategy that will supposedly take us out of the crisis. Is anybody able to seriously believe this? Ah, but this time, the EU is proposing to tax us out of the crisis. Indeed, they will burden Europeans with yet more taxes, even if they try to convince the public that they are only making the naughty banks pay. Far from allowing citizens tight control on EU budget, as Mr. Berhofstadt recently said, this tax will reduce control and negotiation on how EU funds are being spent. Member States' governments must not allow this to happen. Thank you.